guys, I'm back. Got both my hands wrapped. All right, boxing allergy time. Let's do it. Remember my one man show. Eventually we're gonna come back to the gym and train, but as of now, let's do whatever we can. Let's get the workouts in. Everybody will be happy. It's all about maintaining, okay? All about maintaining. You might not lose a ton of weight, but you wanna maintain. By the time we open again, we're good to go. So as you can see, I set up the combs here. We're gonna work on some angles, all right? I already warmed up. As of yesterday, the jump rope, things like that, shadow box, so I'm not gonna go through all that. We're just gonna work on angles you can do at home, you can do at the park, you can do on the porch, wherever you like. So I'm gonna do the first combo. This is a different combo. Double right hand, all right? Make sure you turn the back foot. Double right, left hook, right hand, okay? And then I'm gonna turn this way. Double right, left hook, right hand, and switch. Right hook, right hand, and switch. Double right, hook, right hand, and switch, okay? Double right, hook, right hand, switch. Make sure you throw your, book, your, your right foot in the back. Okay, double right, hook, right hand. Shoot the right leg in the back. You can come over forward a little bit. Double right, hook, right hand. Double right, left hook, right hand. Double right, left hook, right hand. You can come up a little bit more. Double right, left hook, right hand. Double right, left hook, right hand. Double right, left hook, right hand. So we run around two or three times, okay? So that's to show you that if you have an opponent in front of you and you throw your combos, you want to move in an angle. Most of us will just throw punches and we just wait for the other guy to hit us back and we'll throw again. You want a sticky move, you want to be smart. Mike Tyson said, this is not a tough man sport. This is about being smarter, who's smarter? So we want to be the smartest guys, okay? So you want to land the double right, left hook, right hand, shoot the right leg in the back, you're already in position. You could even jab forward to step in. You want to feel comfortable. Now we're going to go to the opposite way. We're gonna go to the left. So we already did the right, we're gonna go to the left. It's a good drill to learn. That way anytime you shuttle boxing, you move. I see a lot of you guys that shuttle box and just stay in one corner or don't even move from the ring. You don't even use the whole ring, you stay in one spot and you do this all day. The same thing over and over, over and over. Mix it up. You wanna constantly move your punches around, okay? First round should be always the feel out round. You want to feel out the opponent. A few jabs here, move around, jab there, jab here, jab low, a one two, one two hook. I moved again, uppercut hook right hand, double right hand hook, jab. So you see how I'm moving my punches around? It'll be much harder for my opponent to figure me out. All right, so you always want to give different views, different angles. That way your opponent is gonna, is gonna be working, you're gonna work your opponent's brain to figure out how he's gonna beat you, how he's gonna hit you. As long as you do that, you look like an actual pro fighter. You're moving around. It looks like you know what to do. You don't wanna just standing, you don't wanna just stand there like a dog getting killed with, you know, by, a, by a, a sniper. So you just wanna move around. Throw your punches, move around. You don't even have to throw hard, everything is fast. All right, touch, touch, touch. That last punch, you should throw hard. So if you're going, you're setting up your punches, pow, and then you move. Pow, 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 and then move. Whatever punch you throw last, it could be the right hand straight, could be the left hook, or it could be a left uppercut, could be a right uppercut, could be a body shot. Okay, whatever it is, and it's the last punch, you can throw it hard. The goal of this is setting up your punches, your opponent is here, you're throwing with speed, he's gonna most likely bring his arms up, or he's gonna move this way. And so you wanna look at all the openings that you have 
uh, you gotta take advantage of. So if I'm throwing punches and a person moves like this, you have the shot for the body shot there. Boom, boom. All right, so you wanna let your hands go. You wanna use your jab. The jab is the most important punch in boxing. Everyone that is a great fighter, a super fighter, a Hall of Famers, they all have a great jab. A jab will, will, is a measuring stick, okay? You move it around until you find your openings. Or, if you're not too sure, you keep using your jabs until you have a game plan of what you want to do in the fight game. So, make sure you throw 60-70% of your punches should be your jab. Even if it's coming with, with a combination, this is the first punch. All right, and it's the one punch from a boxing stance. I'm a righty, so the left hand is longer than the right. So you have about five inches more. If I was switching to a lefty, it would be the same thing, just a different angle, okay? So make sure your jab gets put out there. You push it around, snap it, all right? It's almost like a baseball game. I'm the pitcher, you throw a fast jab, you throw a hard, solid jab, you throw a double jab, you can have a, a little bit wider open jab to tap, right? Maybe you want to look to set that right hand in there. You could hook off the jab, which would be the curveball in baseball. You could jab, dip, hook to the body, which would be something like a slider in baseball. You could throw the uppercut. All right, so you're looking for those different angles, and the jab is going to set it up for you. So back to the cones. So we already went one way, we went to the right. Now we're gonna shoot to the left. So I'm gonna go one, two, hook, hook, then go that way. As you can see, I pivoted, bring it back, pivoted, and we'll go to the next side. Two, hook, hook, one, two, hook, hook, take your leg. Left leg goes across, the right follows. Hook, hook. See? Puts me right in front of the cone. Hook, hook. Hands up. Hook, hook. Hook, hook. And don't forget the step on the jab. One, two. Hook, hook. Step, step. All right, the jab. One, two, hook, hook, step, step. One, two, hook, hook, step, step. One, two, hook, hook, step, step. All right, so that's a drill for today. Practice it, utilize it, make sure that you use the jab, make sure you practice in your punches, make sure that every punch you throw lasts, you move. It's a great cardio. Just make sure every punch is, is moving around. You wanna move those punches around. All right, so the, the object of shadow boxing is getting warmed up, loosen up, making sure you start practicing some of your combos. You can invent some in your house. You can do double hook, right uppercut, left uppercut, left hook. Whatever it is, you wanna practice it. Try to write down two or three combinations, invent your own. Say, okay, let me do Jab right hand, hook to the body. Invent whatever you want and practice it. Bam. All right, nice and easy. And make sure you move after every combo. All right, guys, I hope you're having a blessed day. We'll talk soon. Enjoy.